<clears throat> Welcome everybody. This is Crazy Dark 007 here. How's everybody doing today? I'm just peace. You had a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. And we are going to start into NCAA 14. And yes, the difficulty and rules are on Heisman. This is one of my favorite games to play. I love football. I absolutely am a student of the game. I, if I wasn't doing this, I would try to get into coaching, but that's here nor there. So let's jump right in, shall we? I hope everybody out there in the internet world is having a wonderful day. It's a pleasure to be back with y'all again. Anyway, so here we go. We're at the uh, setup screen for NCAA 14 if you're new to the game. It's been out a while. I love this game. It's been out a couple of years. But I've seen some playthroughs of it on YouTube and I thought, why not? Let's give it a shot. And I'm pretty good at it. So we got our basic setup screen here, you know, typical perks and whatnot if you're new and want to maybe try this game out. So we're going to put in to one into recruiting and of course I always met, try to balance everything out for the most part and all right we're going to go up tempo because I love running the up up to offense. Going out and setting up five wide and we're going to go from there. So let's see here we are at Georgia State, the Kraken is at Georgia State. So I'm going to go through and look at my red shirting by position. Looks like I got a sophomore that third string that I can't, I don't know if I want a red shirt. That guy's, I could probably red shirt and go three running backs, which I will probably do. And I'm going to red shirt the other fullback and red shirt that guy. I don't want to have two tight ends that are freshmen graduating. It sucks because with these young teams you don't know. I don't know. This could be hit or miss. Georgia State, they starting out with Georgia State. I've done it before off camera and it is it's an interesting predicament, that's for sure. 59 right tackle, two seniors. I better not I better I got to recruit their heavy Looks like the left end were a senior, junior, sophomore. All right, two freshmen on the right end. I, I'm thinking I want a red shirt. This at least one of them this year. I don't want. To. We're pretty deep at D tackle, which is surprising. And we're gonna red shirt this guy here. redshirt him. I'm going to try to redshirt all of my freshmen, as many freshmen as I can that I don't think are going to play this year. Because, uh, yeah, that's uh, interesting. Alright, now we're going to set up, I'm going to set up my recruiting board really quick. Now keep in mind, I play as a try to play as close to whatever the schedule gives me. To make it kind of fun and realistic for me. I don't like adjusting my schedule too much. Two, oh my god, look at all that crap. Holy bejesus. Two wide outs on the outside. So we need a two wide outs, a middle linebacker, a center, a tackle. Looks like the offensive line is losing some players. Secondary, losing one guy in the secondary. We need a halfback. And I need skill position players. <laughs> and a free safety. Of course, we're at Georgia State, so you know that's not going to be hard to find. That is going to be hard to find, so I am going to just skip through all this. I'll set my board up next year because it's a pain in the ass just to keep before we start next year. I will set it up before I start recording. And yeah let's jump right in here shall we custom schedules fcs well of course you know georgia state's just new to division one uh yeah alabama that's gonna be freaking murderer's roll 
But you know what? We're gonna play it because I don't really care. Alabama's always tough to beat. There's do it's doable. Especially in Tuscaloosa, but it is what it is. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to the regular season now. Keep in mind in the irregular season, it's uh, entertaining because I don't know what's going to happen. I just know that it, <clears throat> it's one of those things where it could be... I'll keep this. The way I play this game is pretty simple. If you're new to the game, there's, there's a system that... If you figure out each EA Sports has a money play, everybody thinks, oh, you need to do different plays against the computer. It's not entirely the case. The system is, a mo every game has a money play. Every version has it. It's gone back to all the way to 2010. But, everybody says, oh, they took it out. You just, it, no, it's a new money play every year. Too bad this is the last version of the game because it's an awesome, awesome what do you call it? Set up. Alright. We're going to go into recruiting here. And... I don't know what half these guys are going to come out to be, so I'm going to try to scout as much as I can. promising plus two is promising it's sad when you're playing with one of these schools and they say oh plus two is promising wow I'm not gonna recruit that guy too many red arrows six plus six plus eight eh? for uh that guy's got some serious accelerate Here we go, folks. Uh, FCS freaking Southeast. Now, I wouldn't typically recommend playing this, but these teams, if I could help it, but we we have uh, little to no matchups that are freaking worth any shit. Coach Kelly, or Coach Kraken, as I call him. Um, Oh, one thing I'm forgetting. I gotta don my lucky visor. Yes, I gotta don the lucky visor, so... Give me a minute. I, uh... Alright, we got the lucky visor on. So here we go. First game of the season. And of course we have no freaking uniforms to choose from, so let's get right to it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Georgia State Football. A new era, a new beginning. Can Coach Kraken overcome his... Uh, he was previously an offensive coordinator under... Mark Elfridge at Oregon. Keyword there, he was. After leading Oregon to the national championship, can Coach Kraken build the Georgia State program into a powerhouse, a perennial powerhouse? We'll find out. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you. And here we go. EA Sports and Free game, folks. Football 14 free game show presented Georgia State Esau. football, ladies and gentlemen. Coach Kraken here with his with his trademark visor. Georgia Dome. Players starting to make sure that all of those yeah. are buckled up nice and tight. Ooh, the matchup's pretty even, so it's a flip of a coin. That's gonna do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herb Street.
And here we go, folks. As you can see, the teams are on the field. It's intense, folks. It's major. Woo! No, I'm just playing. I didn't mean to do it. I'm getting jacked up now because it's all freaking... I love football. Coach Kraken's loving it. He's loving it. Boom! 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 And welcome to all right. Down the street from the Capitol building. It's time for the coin toss now. Presented by Coach. Here we go, folks. Uh, Zero calories. And as you can see, there's not very many people in the stands here, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, what do we got here? And we're going to receive to start the game. The kickers got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. And this season is officially underway. He's to the Vaughn, he cuts back at the 20 to 25. Oh, three yard line. Georgia State's looking to start. And there's Jared Kraken, the fearless leader, ladies and gentlemen, coaching his first game at Georgia State. I guarantee this new coach has some too. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And it looks like they are coming out with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the box. It's the inside zone at the 20. He's up to the 29. And that's a gain of nine. With a gain of nine, David Golden on the carry. Looks like Coach Kraken's going at it again. And Golden's out to the, for the first down for Georgia State. Pick up the first down with the running game. And it looks like we are going five wide. They've got one, two, three safety bats. And they're dropping into a zone, which is surprising. And it's a 13-yard reception to Darrell Green for another Georgia State first down. They come out in an empty backfield. We're going out five wide again. Oh, London scrambles. Oh, and he takes a sack for a loss of one. Broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Well, that's From good. the 49 yard line. It's second down. And again, they're crowding the line of scrimmage. Gets an out to his receiver. And Green gets knocked away. London on the pass. He's one for two today with 13 yards. It's third and 11 on the 50. On the play calling and come up with a nice play. They come out You see a lot of Oregon influence here, ladies and gentlemen. Green. That was first down for another 12-yard reception. But a great catch for enough to overcome it. Oh fuck. Ow. Play there by the defensive London takes a loss for four yards. They're back down to the 50. This kid can do on the field. Don't let his youth fool you. He's good. And this is the eighth play of the drive. I've never seen so many guys up in a box that never I played this game like. Even from an FBS team, this is ridiculous. Of sitting in until the last second, trying to make ah, don't throw down. it over the middle if you can help it. Ooh, and it's third and freaking long. Maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a tough. Oh, they're dropping into a zone. Catches it, and that's all. Fourth and nine. Six yards with a short completion. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Wow, I'm already going for it. Wide receivers. Get to that quick and it's and I forced the throw. But we're there. Catch by the linebacker, but not a smart throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the 